today we're going to remove a third light from a 2015 Chevy Suburban. Alright, the tools that you're going to be needing, it's going to be a 25 Torx and a 10 millimeter and a trim tool. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to first open up this latch and we're going to remove all of these nuts and all of these Torx screws and this one is 10. So we're going to go ahead and remove them. We have two there, two here, one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. All right, once you have all the screws removed and all the nuts, we can go ahead and remove it. It should come off loose. The only thing is that we do have all of the plugins still plugged into it. So we're probably gonna have to remove this trim here. All right, and with your trim tool, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from here and just work our way around. I already went ahead and loosened it up for the video purposes. Uh, I guess it got stuck again. Let me go ahead and loosen it up. Whoops. Watch out for my glasses, homie. There it is, piece this off. And here is our third light connection. Go ahead and unplug that. And now we're gonna go ahead and loop, open it up. All right, once you have this pigtail removed, uh, here's the water line. All you do is just press down on these here. And now it comes out. All right, and it seems like we're ready to remove this now. All right, next thing you wanna do is with this trim tool is apply pressure down here to lift this up and that releases the water line and that pigtail and now we'll be able to get this whole piece out go ahead and close this down again all right and i'm going to use both hands to get this out pretty heavy. I'm going to go ahead and get it out. All right, once you have it removed, we're going to go ahead and take this inside because we still got to take this thing apart. All right, I have it placed down on top of rags and it looks like we're going to have to remove these Phillips screws to be able to take this cover off because it looks like that's how it comes off on other videos you have to pry it off this one you have to unscrew it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that should come off but it looks like it might need to be pried on this side um, so I'm gonna go ahead and oh, there it is all right I'm gonna stick my trim to it and I'm gonna pull it out all the way out boom this I'm gonna use both hands real quick all right once we have everything pried you have access to remove the 10 millimeter screws or nuts that's holding the third light and to make things easier we're just gonna unplug the hose from here if possible I think it's glued down. Uh, if it's glued down, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'll just put it to the side. We have enough room. Don't 
towards the mold. All right, once you loosen all of these up, we're gonna go ahead and remove them. And there is a big toe right here. We're gonna use a small forehead to pry it loose. Just pull it up and pull it out. You might need both hands. I'm gonna need both hands. All right, once you have everything released, go ahead and just push the third brake light out and how it comes. And it's broken. That's why we're replacing it. Sweet, and that's how you remove a third brake light from a 2015 Chevy Tahoe. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.